Hi everybody, it's Joe here, just back from Data Analytics Ireland. So today we're going to talk about how to generate random numbers. So on the screen here in front of you, this is the first example we're going to go through. We've got a number of different ways to show you. Purpose of this is you may be doing some testing and you want to generate random, random numbers uh, for your testing purposes, or you may be doing actually building a machine learning model. So the process, the steps going to take you through here should hopefully enable you to achieve this. So let's have a look at the first one here. Um, so essentially we got this module here called random. Okay. And in the, the module, uh, there's a thing called, you can import RAND range. And the whole idea is, is basically essentially this will allow you to generate random numbers between what you specify. So now I've said, now mentioned in this video, kind of in the thumbnail zero nine, would you actually change this to anything you want? So here I just put zero to nine. So if we run this and see there now we've got a value of six. Okay. If we run it again, uh, we've got a different value here. So if we do control shift and F10. Okay, so we're regenerating where we get eight, six, four, and so on. So you could actually import import this in as part of your package and actually create arrays or matrix on this as well. Um, and just keep re-looping, -re recalculating, and will help you in any machine learning or testing. So you could also, as I said, change to say 100. Okay, so you want to generate anything between zero and 100, all right? So let's do this. Okay, so again, that brings up, say, 41, 35, so on and so forth. So that's the first example, if you wanted to generate random numbers, of how you would do it in Python. So let's look at the next example. So up above, we use the ra random and we use the actual module random and random range. But in actual fact here, you can just import random and use another... Uh, function called randint. Exactly the same thing, it will produce uh, random numbers again. We've just set up the default between zero and nine, you can change this. It's just another way of um, creating random integer values. So if we just do control shift and 10, so again, see here the values are changing on the screen, okay. Um, seven, and again, you can change that to, say we wanna change that to 15, okay. So brings up 15 this time, three, 0, 2, 14, so on and so forth. So that is just another way that if you want to create random numbers, um, you can do it this way as well. So let's have a look at the next option that's available to you from Python. So our next option is actually um, a thing called round below. Um, so what does this do? This actually, you just define a, a value that's your maximum that you want to return, and then it will produce any random number below that number. So as you can see, we've actually imported from sequence this time this module, and we've imported round below, and then we're just literally printing round below. We set basically nine as the value, but you can set that to anything. So let's have a look at some of the values in this. So again, just printing random numbers here, three, seven, four, five, so on and forth. If we change that to 20, okay. We basically, let's just do that again. So 11, 15, one, 10, and so on and so forth. So there is just another way of actually printing some random numbers that you can use in any of your machine learning or testing. So let's look at the next option that's available to you. So the next option actually, which is one is probably quite, you use regularly in statistics and you'll see it in machine learning and possibly in any testing you do, is NumPy. And NumPy has a function in it again to create random numbers, out, produce the output, and then basically um, show it on the screen. So we're gonna print that now, we're gonna run through a couple of just iterations of it just to show you the output and then see what, we can, what it brings back. So let's just have a look here. Okay, that's uh, going back in two seconds. Took it a bit longer, some bit of processing on, on my computer in the background. But as you can see, what it's done here is, it is basically, the function here basically says, okay, let's turn something that is size 10, and then basically any, any value between one and 10. So as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got return 10 values in the list. So if we change this to, say, let's change this to 15, okay? And let's just rerun this. Okay, still the same. And that though, but what it does is 
it basically returns the 10 that we're expecting um, a list between 1 and 10 of values but now it's anything up to 15 okay so you can see here it's 6 6 4 4 14 5 9 10 and 3 okay so just to reiterate this function basically this first value basically says turn anything um, up to 15 or below it randomly and then basically says the size of the values is 1 to 10 so you could actually theoretically say let's do that to let's do that to say 20 okay let's just test this again so now you have 20 values returned here up to anything up to and including 15 if it's chosen randomly so let's look at the next option that is available to us to create random numbers so our next option is you can create an empty dictionary and then use a, use a loop and use the arrange function again to generate values up to the value 10 um, through the loop. So let's actually just run this now, okay? And as you can see, it's generated random numbers there as key value pairs all the way up to the value nine. Um, so that's another way that you can generate random numbers. Um, it's a handy way actually if you want to get into the dictionary and have key value pairs but it basically loops through the all the values and then basically as it iterates up it stops before it hits the value 10. so i think we've got one more here for you now we're going to show you and then we were nearly at the end of this video thanks for sticking with us if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button so let's look at the next uh piece of uh, Python functionality you can use to generate random numbers. So our last one is again is we're going to use um, a loop okay and essentially in that loop we're going to use which we I think we used this earlier on called round rage let's just go back up here we use this um, yes we, we use it up here in the first one so essentially what we're doing here we're going to use that again but in this instance we're going to use a loop to just bring us back random figures, uh, random integers. Um, it's a handy way to actually use loops to generate random numbers because then uh, you can just keep running it um, and basically use a timer um, to basically then uh, go and um, say every five seconds to regenerate random numbers and as a result that you start getting output that your Python logic is processing. So again, we're just again, importing the random and we're saying for i in range 10, okay, so anything up to 10, basically please random print random um, and any round range between 0 and 10 so let's just rerun this here and as you can see down here in the output below the one five three six zero eight nine eight eight one and there can be as well the good thing about this there can be um, um, repeats of some values as well which is good because if you're doing any machining or testing you want to get sometimes randomly just get the same numbers to see how things work out or how your output looks so let's just rerun this again. Again, it's obviously given us another 10 random numbers. So that today is our video, quick for video tutorial on how to generate random numbers using Python. We really hope you liked this video, liked um, the, the steps we went through just to explain a number of options. Obviously you can take what you've, I've shown you here and incorporate it in one of your projects into more into a more complex a complex pl uh, project um, and a complex set of random numbers that will give you output of whatever you're testing or whatever you're building it's a very handy way um, of generating random information and integers definitely if you're machine learning i would recommend it so thanks for popping by really appreciate it please if you haven't subscribed hit the like subscribe share with your any friends, colleagues, or any family members, anybody you think might get benefit out of this. Uh, thanks for coming along. As I said, see you soon and take care. Bye.